is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Alright. That's... Sounds good to me. Dying Light 2, I hope to make progress with today. Alright? But I'm gonna be honest with everyone. Because, you know, usually I'm completely and utterly 100% dishonest. So when I say, I'm gonna be honest with you, you know that I'm actually changing my, my tone. I'm gonna be very... Very transparent. <laughs> anyway, no, I'm gonna be honest with everyone here, okay? Once the new releases come out later this week, unless there's a major demand for Dying Light 2, it may either be dramatically reduced to the amount of times I play it each week or even just go on hiatus, all right? I hate the fucking game. Because I, th I feel like I can beat Sifu either before the new releases come out or right after. Because I've only got, I'm, I'm, I'm on the fourth boss, I already beat her, but I need to find a way to beat her effectively so I don't lose all my lives, and then we just gotta beat the last world and we're done. And I'm not saying that the last world's gonna be fucking easy, I get the feeling it's, it's gonna be tough, okay? Oh my god, he's drinking gin. Gin is great. <laughs> but, I really feel like I can play it and beat it within one to two more sessions. And the next session is Tuesday, and then we'll probably have another session over the weekend to try to wrap it up if I don't beat it on Tuesday, okay? Um, Dying Light 2, I don't think... I don't think at all we're going to beat it anytime soon. And I'll be honest with you guys, I'm way more interested in the King of Fighters 15. I'm way more interested in Horizon Forbidden West. I'm way more interested in Elden Ring. Shit, I'm way more interested in Sifu. I'm way more interested in Skyrim. I'm way more interested in Old School Street Fighter. That's how, you know what I mean? Like, I play this game for nine hours and I just kind of like, meh. That's not a good thing. When you're surrounded by other things that are more entertaining than you, that's not good because it makes you stand out as the odd game out. And that's what I feel is the situation that Dying Light 2 is in right now. I'm just not impressed with the game. I've been playing it now for 9 hours. Today will be 12. Unless things dramatically turn around today in the next 3 hours of story advancement, I, I, I don't foresee there being demand for Dying Light 2 right now. You know what I mean? Like, King of Fighters 15, big new hot fighting game coming out on Thursday. People have wanted me to play another different fighting game instead of Old School Street Fighter for a long time. So that's going to serve a purpose and fill a gap, you know, a need in my, my gaming schedule. <clears throat> Horizon Forbidden West. Damn, when the first one came out, it blew a lot of people away. Not me in particular. I liked the graphics and the story. I didn't think the gameplay was anything to write home about. But this time, it's going to be on a next-gen console. Maybe it's going to have a lot of innovations. We'll see. I'm excited for it. I really am. I'm, I'm pretty excited for it. If we hit the tips goal for today, there will not be a vest. <gasps> oh my god! Why? Because today, I'm going to do something a little different. You'll still have a choice. You will. You'll still have a choice. But it will not be for a vest. It'll be for something else. Okay? So, you don't know what it is. Right? You don't know. It's a mystery. It's a mystery reward. If we do hit the full tips goal for today, you're going to see a mystery reward on the stream. And it is a themed reward. That's all I'm going to say. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to spoil. I'm not going to even say another word about that, uh, it's something different. It's not gonna be a vest. All right, well, you wanted white and black, you got white and black. That's right, who remembers these? I haven't worn these in two years because actually I was gonna start wearing these regularly on streams. And then what happened is the vest streak started. And when the vest streak started two years ago, we basically never talked about these ever again. So they just kind of sat around in my closet unused. So these are my old jerseys. I'm not kidding you, these are from the early 2000s. Yes, this is about 20 years old, this jersey. Although I've probably worn it less than like 20 times. Seriously, my whole life. And on the back it says... Dark side. You can't see it. There. Dark side. Because I used to be Dark Side Phil in the Street Fighter community. So I'd actually go to our, uh, tournaments wearing these jerseys. I have three jer different jerseys. This is the white and black. I have one that's black and gray. And then one that's black but has blue and white on it as well. Yeah, and I, I used to wear these to tournaments. People were like, oh, that must be Dark Side Phil because this is Dark Side on his jersey. And it was people were like, wow, it's an ingenious way for people to recognize you at the tournament. So there you go. But I barely ever worn them. Almost never. And the thing is, you know, we could, if you guys are so tired of the vests, if you wanted to see the jersey instead on streams, we could do this regularly. I'm an evil, dirty, 
heinous scammer who steals money from little children. <laughs> Yesterday, with this marathon, okay, it went pretty good. And what I mean by that is attendance was great throughout. Uh, engagement was absolutely outstanding. I had, get this, over 300 likes on the stream yesterday. That's actually the most likes I've ever had on a stream on YouTube. Ever. In the history of me streaming on YouTube. Yeah, that's cool. It was pathetic. Memberships stayed completely stagnant. I'm not kidding you. We didn't have one new member yesterday. Not one. And that was shocking to me. How much you want to bet? Half the people who have Super Thanks don't even know they have it. They probably have no clue. They probably don't even know what the fuck it is. Because YouTube didn't fucking roll it out in a manner where you'd be like, Oh, hey, guess what? You're getting it and here's how you can use it. They're just randomly giving it to people out of nowhere. Ah, that hurts. Not gonna lie, that fucking hurts. Even when I go to the page where it's this, this Super Thanks and Super Chats, it says... Super thanks are coming. You are absolutely getting them. It actually says it right on there. You will be getting super thanks, but not yet. Stay tuned. <laughs> like, oh, okay. I can't wait for the money. Oh, let's do... We want those fucking TikTok clips. So let's call them shorts and implement them here. Oh, by the way, it'll only have one-fourth of the features that TikTok has, and there's really no incentive to really do it because shorts are fucking stupid. But we're going to act like it's something that we're in the know and we're in the pop culture, so we want to have shorts. Right? This is what I mean. Like, what? This is how YouTube is. It's like, oh, why don't you use shorts? Well, I don't know why. Because it's fucking not intuitive. It's not. It's probably some dumb thing. You probably got to use your phone. You probably got to download the YouTube Shorts app. And you probably got to use your phone. And you could say, hi, everyone. I'm on my phone. I'm a fucking asshole. Look at my boogers. Uh! And you upload the short. And five million idiots watch it because they're fucking brainless. And they think that a 30 second clip has value because they're stupid. Why am I toxic? More toxic. More toxic. Would I like to highlight my gameplay footage? Sure, why not? How cool would it be if every day I remember three notable moments from my gameplay stream and I say, I'm going to make three notable clips and put them on my channel. How the fuck do I do that? There's nothing in my menu to do it. There's not even a section for clips in the fucking creator dashboard. There's nothing there. They don't care about the people who already are here. Ow! Why'd you do that? Why did you do that? Why'd you just go to bite mommy? Wow. Alright, so you see what pigs can do. Today I was taking a shit, and it was amazing, a dingleberry stuck to my ass. I didn't realize my butt itch, and now I reached down with a dingleberry on my hand. Oh, thanks for watching YouTube Shorts. Wow, what a meaningful clip. But that's it, like, what else? <laughs> what else am I supposed to do? How do I make a fucking YouTube Short out of an hour-long gameplay video? It's not even there. It's not even in the menu to do it. it. Doesn't exist. I need a drink. Woo! That grain alcohol is good. I drink. Yes, I actually drink. So we're currently up to fourteen dollars tips, guys. Remember, we have goals in effect: fifty dollars raised gunner glasses, hundred dollars raised pick a hat for me to wear. Amongst the many silly hats, like the Pikachu hat, the big plastic metal-looking Viking hat. Stuff, stuff like that. And then, for $150 raised, you can pick either a vest or I will wear a football jersey of your choice. Depending on what you want tonight. Alright? We're currently at $21 in tips. That's pretty low, especially for Skyrim stream. I'm not gonna lie. Like, Skyrim streams have always been pretty damn good for support up to this point. Um, and that's really slow. It would be great if we could get some more tips tonight. Remember, we have the usual rewards. Gunner glasses at 50. I, I was so sure we were hitting 50 tonight, I didn't even put the gunner glasses back in their case from earlier. I thought this is a shoe in uh, a hat, and you guys know all the silly hats you can vote on, the cowboy, the pilot, the Pikachu, or the big metal, kind of. This beast of a hat for Skyrim, right? And like I told you guys, if we do hit the whole goal for tonight, $150, all right? In the second half of tonight's stream here, which we're about to start, then you get to pick, do you want to see me wear a vest of your choice, or do you want to see me wear a jersey, a football jersey? Because I was doing that for Super Bowl Sunday today, um... We actually did have a football jersey earlier. I have three different um, football jerseys ready for uh, tonight, all right? So please consider contributing if you have not yet. If you remember, this is how I make my living. It's crowdfunding. Thank you in advance to anyone who does anything. I appreciate that. I don't want to lose my house. I don't want to have to sell my house. Ladies and gentlemen, 
I just received a large tip from a viewer, a $20 tip. Phil Smokes Crack just took me $20 to come in and support the stream. Keep it up. You're funny tonight. Thank you, Phil Smokes Crack. I appreciate that. Thank you for the support. Guys, we're at $73 in tips right now. I've never run into this thing before. What is it, a money creature? Yeah, look. It's a money creature. It just throws money around. <laughs> what the hell was that? Well, we are, even though it doesn't say that. We're at seventy-three dollars of tips right now, um, which is outstanding. We're so close to hitting the hat goal. If we're gonna hit it, let's hit it right now. If someone else was maybe taking a tip in, now would be the time so we can at least get like 15, 20 minutes of a hat. Okay? Turbo Pascal just did a super chat and says, "How much do you tip when you use DoorDash?" Well, the way DoorDash works is that when you place an order, it auto calculates a suggested uh, tip, and what it is is there's a low level, a mid level, and a high level or a custom. I always usually do mid-level. I never do the least. I always get at least I do mid-level. Because when you're ordering from any of these delivery services, whether it be DoorDash, Uber Eats, um, what's the other one? I forget. I think I only used it once, the other one. I can't remember the name of it. Um, but when you use those, okay, the only money that driver is receiving is your tip. That's it. They're not getting paid a single dollar from that company. Ladies and gentlemen, I certainly hope that you guys enjoyed tonight's Skyrim stream. Thank you for your support. Thank you for chilling with me. I had a good time with all of you. And I hope to see you again next time. Later in the week. All right, guys? Thanks. Peace. Awesome. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind. And it's always telling me. It's <laughs> WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory. But I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>